Hi guys. So this was supposed to be an in-class exercise for last time, but unfortunately, as I told you in class, I just something happened that I, I had the, uh, a different file uploaded to Moodle instead of the correct file. But in any case, last assignment was for you to focus on these two statements. Most of you, however, focus on this statement. Uh, I would say 50-50% who did good and those who did mm, not very good. So let's take a look at what uh, kind of uh, uh, statements we collected for this uh, segment. Get the best sparkling wine. So over here, uh, I think this is for the sparkling wine segment. So this is for this. Mm, I'm sorry. Okay, so let me just copy this instead. So get the best sparkling wine for up to 89%. All right, so here they focused on the main uh, uh, common ground. Actually, Prosesco and Espomente, they are both also sparkling wines. So over here, get started with the um, call to action, uh, sparkling wine for up to 89% uh, off. That's not bad uh, 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 value proposition statement because it is based on the common ground, the benefit. Order now, well, here's the urgency, uh, not really, <laughs> to get a special discount for up to 89% of a French seasonal wine. I think this is for this one. Uh, this, is, this statement is for this French seasonal wine. Now, I would say that over here, this person has missed out on the common ground. The common ground, there are two. Common ground is the minimum quantity and the French. But the French, as you can see here, it's two out of one, two, three, four, five, out of five occurrences. It's not even 50% of the occurrences. While six is 100% of all the occurrences. So over here, this is dangerous you are not using really you're not interpreting the data so this is a one month worth of analysis gone for nothing gone it's useless like one month worth of analyzing data if you can't really use the out outcome of the analysis it's a disaster so here's the outcome here as you can see is the six as minimum discount, and six kilograms uh, an order as minimum uh, uh, um, uh, order allowed. So this is very dangerous. This is what I would say, an example of a horrible uh, mistake done. Okay, so over here, who doesn't love an 89%? There's no 89% here, so probably you're talking about this. 89% up to 89% who doesn't love a 89% discount this is misleading we don't want to be marketers who are misleading also so we don't want to be misleading so you need to be careful how you describe uh, your value proposition who doesn't love uh, 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 an up to 89% discount on your favorite French seasonal wine so over here I would say I think I added French. The person just showed favorite seasonal wine. This is the second time I'm recording this video. I had problems with the re previous recording. So the person just wrote the French, uh, wrote the seasonal wine. You need to, yeah, write French seasonal wine, beginning with a minimum order of six kilograms only. That's perfect. Here, it's a common ground. But be careful with describing the incentive. Enjoy sparkling wine. Again, we're talking about sparkling wine. So maybe I should just take the sparkling part here. And keep these here. But it uh, seems like I don't have... Uh... Okay. So now for this... Uh, for this uh, uh, um, uh, segment... Enjoy sparkling wine with minimum quantity of 72. Actually, this is, check your facts. This is minimum quantity of, uh, you said sparkling wine. All of these are sparkling wine. I'm sorry if, if I 
just highlighted the red for the champagne and you know champagne is uh, uh, sparkling wine but all of these are sparkling wine but they are under different names so please understand that all of these are sparkling wine and all of these you could claim that uh, starting with a minimum quantity of six kilograms for a further incentive uh, on above 40 what is on above minimum quantity of 72 uh, discounts with uh, a discount from 48 percent and you started with a call to action of course there is no positioning statement so there's no unique selling point why are you the best or uh, don't say the best but is your uh, champagne is 100% uh, 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 um, natural um, it's of course all food is natural coming from food but you can say if it's organic 100% organic or um, sourced from your own farms if uh, from all over the world or in different regions or the best uh, harvesting or, or wine harvesting regions in the world and so on so you need or are your company uh, uh, has a recycling partner so you buy with us you have a recycling partner if you take part of this we will have uh, even further discount so be creative get a twinkling twinkle twinkle i like that you added uh, an extra effort here uh, get twinkling uh, with extra 50 free bottles i don't know where you're getting this from but i like the imagination but however i want to see that you use the data here i don't want to see imagination that replaces facts because i want to make sure even though it may sound like common sense to you but this common sense i haven't seen it in some of the assignments and if i haven't seen it in some of the assignments this is an alarming point so I need to see facts. I need to see facts so that we can connect what we studied for one whole month, almost three weeks, analyzing data, how we can use it of sparkling wine for minimum order of 140. Mm, why minimum order of 140? Where did you get this from in only 50 hours? I don't know what, what you guys thinking, but you want to sell as much as possible but this might be, uh, uh, they, they might turn their backs to this, uh, to this offer because it's too much and it's not what they want. Always, if you, if you think you can buy from six kilograms, then of course you're going to sell for 144. And there is no urgency as supplies last or, or it's an exclusive offer or it is only hurry up uh, offer uh, end soon and that is. Get the best sparkling wine for up to 89% off. This is the least effort that you can put. Okay, over here, I also have an example where I used this kind of uh, template uh, for the target customer who said statement of need, our product uh, gives you this following benefit. So I wrote this, but I want to show you the power of uh, contemplating on your writing. So the first time I wrote this is, is like this. It has a lot of room for improvement. I wanted you to actually uh, fix this. But since you're not with me right now, so I'm going to do it, I did it myself. So for small business owners, so this is my target customer. Your target customer, be creative. Your small business, it's not schools for sure, but small business owners, uh, bartenders, or not bartenders, bar, bar, uh, bars and cafes, uh, restaurants, uh, what else? Uh, wedding venues, they also use uh, sparkling wine, for example. So this is the kind of venues that you would uh, use wine in uh, in big quantities and they will need it. So please uh, try to um, uh, be creative for the target customer, but relevant, not an astronaut. Yeah, for small business owners, okay, uh, what else? Who are interested in purchasing a minimum quantity of six kilograms. This is, looks so like a book. You're not talking to me natural language, uh, business language with people. Uh, this is kind of like very superficial. This is not a very native English kind of, in, in kind of very structured, but it's not natural. So you can write it something like looking for a premium sparkling wine. They're looking for, not interested in, for example. We offer, so now this is our offer. 
a wide variety of champagne, Prosecco, and Espomente for up to 89% discount, starting from only 6 kilograms an order. Easy peasy, nice. Did I write anything about positioning statement here? Not yet. Order now as supplies last. Also, I added something like exclusive limited offer for our existing clients. So you will feel special. Not for everyone and anyone. It's only for you. But this is missing a positioning statement. Uh, going up to here, you can read it. It's a, an epic uh, uh, <laughs> value proposition statement. It's not wrong, but it's not an easy flow, flowing one. This is what I'm aiming at, to train you to write an easy flowing uh, value proposition statement. Now, how can we integrate the positioning statement? I'm, I want to challenge myself to write something really difficult, but something really easy also. So let's start with the easy one. For small business owners looking for a premium organic sparkling wine. So this you can probably distinguish yourself from the market. Or you can say sparkling wine. Mm. Yeah, what else we can say? Champagne Francisco for men, or the NAS exclusive limited offer for our existing clients only. Um, uh, we are affiliated with uh, we cycle campaign. Learn more. For example, this means that you can learn more how to be affiliated with us. Learn more uh, or or take part. Take part of the initiative. So here, or be part of the initiative. You see how I, I myself be a part of this initiative. This is also very smoothly integrated. So maybe I will not, I will not put this here, or I can put it uh, uh, somewhere separate if I want. But I am more concerned of meeting up my teacher's expectations. See, she said I want positioning statement. So I'm going to just stick to what we are affiliated with. We cycle campaign. Be part of this initiative. So you can. You can uh, be creative or do like uh, Kamerov has done and he said that our wine comes from uh, grapes sourced and grown in the chalky soils in Champagne, the most northerly of France, France's wine region. Okay, you can say that. However, I can see that the origin here is a little bit uh, uh, not French, not much of I have France one, two, three. Uh, so in this case, I will I will take this to here. I know that it's two out of five, but probably uh, I will use uh, this kind of French uh, theme over here that Kamerov has used. Also, Kamerov in his example, if you guys read his example, he talked about his high quality seasonal French wine here, French champagne, and then he says high quality seasonal French champagne again. So it is there's repetition. So please be careful not to, as Anna said also in class, we, should, we need to keep it short, probably. So that was a very nice um, uh, feedback. We need to keep it short, eliminate all the repetitions. Now, if you, uh, there are two um, uh, assignments that I would like you to tackle. The first assignment is basically uh, here, based on the slides from this PowerPoint. Slide seven, some example uh, positioning statement, value proposition statement. Slide 10 has further examples for the other segment. And then segment four, we have some uh, examples from you guys uh, on slide 13 and slide 16. Because on PowerPoint, I can't add an interactive checkbox, I moved everything to Word document. So over here, I just would like you to kindly, if you don't mind, just uh, be very cooperative, please, as usual. Thank you so much. And write your name and write your ID so that I, I can see who's who uh, easily. Please, it doesn't take too long. So write your name, write your ID, and 
also save the assignment as your name so i can easily see who is who uh, and um, over here would like you to check does this have any unique selling point no so i'm going to leave it blank does it have the value proposition uh, it has a sparkling which is the common ground okay but if the common ground is six uh, 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 kilograms and for example and you don't have it mentioned then this is a disaster okay so make sure i having here uh, get the best sparkling wine this is for segment two and uh, this is for segment three i didn't put segment one because we kept on uh, discussing the segments again and again and this is segment five you know what guys i'm gonna be really nice and do something nice for you i'm gonna add actually the analysis so this is for segment two i'm gonna add it it's easier for you to take a look i really would like you to i know that uh, sometimes I I, I I i need not to be of course lazy so i'm gonna add this for you so that i can make your life easier so you can see and easily make the check list as you can see here okay so i'm going to add this segment three segment uh, whatever and then you can just see if uh, there is a unique selling point sparkling yeah all of them are sparkling so correct uh, actually unique selling point here is the positioning statement is there any positioning statement did you say it's organic no you didn't so i'm going to keep it blank value proposition yes it's a nice value proposition because it also has the intensive along with it, the incentive along with it and it has also the call to action along with it so usually if the vp is there <laughs> most likely the call to action is there and the incentive is there because if you guys remember from our previous uh, just make sure that we all on the same page from our previous uh, explanation of value proposition it goes hand in hand the benefit with the price and sometimes if you don't have a benefit you just talk about the product here the common ground the common ground could be here a product it could be a value the customer values urgency do you have any urgency you don't have urgency so you're going to keep it blank so this is what i want you really to do all right so this is the first assignment the second assignment on the other hand would be in fact i have an assignment example oh ah sorry this is camera of example okay so the second assignment on the other hand is not going to be the value proposition one value proposition statement oh nobody told me you know what you guys are very nice Oh my goodness, you guys are dripping nicestness. <laughs> I actually told you one value proposition. I didn't even tell you in the assignment and positioning statement, but nobody told me anything. Aren't you so sweet? Aren't you dripping sweetness? Next time, defend yourself and tell me, hey, Nora, calm down. Remember, old lady, you wrote for us one value proposition. You haven't even mentioned positioning statement in the video yes you said work on both of them together but you told us to focus on value proposition so we focused on value proposition okay guys you know what i owe you an apology the and i've been best of your ability and an, an email an email content including positioning and value proposition <coughs> if you use organic as positioning i want to see another positioning because organic is too easy and i don't want you to just rely on the easy way out to finish the assignment thus if you use organic as a positioning statement your positioning should be consistent across all your segments 
you can't tell one segment you are selling these for 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 your customers you can't tell this segment i am organic and telling this segment something else unless you are actually something else unless you have more than one positioning statement for each product so be creative i don't mind that what i don't want to see basically i want i don't want to see organic throughout the writing so that it's an easy way out so i want you to do the same assignment uh, sorry i'm not going to play with this assignment i want to keep it so i want you to do the same assignment but this time an email content so something like this but even this one i feel you will have a room for improvement by the way if you want to have something nice like how he did it kamirov did it you can also play around with tables so you can insert here a table and with two and you over here you can copy this for example over here Anyway, if you're having uh, an image here, copy this image, you can paste it easily here, and then the same applies with, with the text. You don't have to do it this way. This is very complicated. You can just write whatever you want, and then if you want, you can just go to uh, LA, a design, and then get rid of all the borders, and then the borders will be seamless. seamless. You don't have to complicate your life with whatever uh, done here. Okay, so probably this assignment has took quite a long while of your time, but I really appreciate it. However, you can just uh, easily, let me check here. Oh, now I can paste it. So you can see, you can take any, it's easy peasy. Make sure that it is uh, also anchored uh, correctly and now you can write whatever you want and over here you can put it if you want uh, centralize it uh, here. you can do whatever you want with it okay and then you write whatever you want I don't know why I can't really even find it here I'm pasting it somewhere else. Okay, no. Anyway, so this is one uh, method. You don't have to put so many images. Maybe just a, a, a wine here. Bottle will be sufficient if you want to add the graphics. I don't want you to focus on the graphics now and forget about the writing. I want you to focus now on the writing. But if you add the graphics, it's a plus, plus, plus. So I want to, if you are good, good with writing uh, and writing is nice, I also would like to see a little bit of an effort so that you can now you learn the way of doing things easily with word just add uh, a table two columns three columns if you want if you want to add this in one column and these all in another column for example i can reproduce this let me show you you learning so here three i can put the whole bottle this big bottle let me check if i can copy this oh yeah i can okay. for example I can copy this here. I don't know why this is kind of like difficult to copy for me to paste it. I can't paste it. But in any case, over here, you can add three layers one two three each layer you add an image if you want and over here you can just merge this if you want to have only merge cells so this is the bottle over here this picture is on top and so on for the others and also merge this together so now with this technique you can easily copy these guys and be careful with the uh, 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 here with the uh, anchoring, we, we call it an anchoring of the image. You guys, I used to, the, my, my first 
career ever is that help desk and I used in, in like in an IT center and I used to do the training for the what we call it the driver license Microsoft the driver license they used to call it uh, back in the time probably like I'm shy to say more than more than for sure more than 15 years ago so that was my first job and I keep um, learning with it uh, with, with 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 office so here let me check what's up. I, okay, it's part of the communication here. Okay, so this is one of the things that doesn't look good because it is kind of need to fix the margins of the uh, 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 of the table so here I will have zero everything is zero so and also there's some other settings I don't want to complicate your life so this is why I tell you I don't want too many images like that to irritate you just a nice bottle of wine if you want you can add it here and your text and you can of course expand this as you want as you can see you can write as, as much as you want okay good very good and if you want to add by now so I'm training you in case you are gonna uh, cup it do this for uh, your boss or an, as an intern I, I got rid of the uh, of the cell margins here probably I should put some I'm going to add, for example, insert here, um, where is it, the link, hyperlink, you guys see that, where is it, insert, hyperlink over here, so you're going to say browse pages, so you're going to see buy now, and uh, put whatever address, uh, www.tiu.ac.japan <laughs> and just hit OK so it will look like a link okay so make sure that you know these little tricks with word how to insert the hyperlink and also very simple arrangement of the images and the texts for easier uh, modification between you bouncing the copy between you and your manager in the future okay so this is the second assignment. Second assignment is to redo the first assignment that I told you, write a value proposition. Now I want you to write an email that includes the following. Unique selling point, which is the positioning statement. Value proposition, the common ground extracted from our analysis. One or many that has a call to action, has an incentive, and has an urgency. All right, guys, easy peasy. Thank you so much. I will see you. I, the remaining of the class, I want you to do both assignments. As you can see here, you will be inspired by the writings or you will pay attention to things that others say pay attention to and you took it for granted. You know where you stand. This is just a, a random sample of the assignment. So you also know where you stand. You can get inspired by others and re redo your own writing by, by being inspired by others. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. I see you on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we will be ready to create actually an HTML email template together. Okay. Goodbye now.